golden buzzer. And, and as Alicia says, and as he says himself, comics aren't really his thing, particularly mm. on that show. So mm. to get the golden buzzer must have meant so much. It, it meant everything, but it, I think it threw me off as well, though. Yeah. Because you, you might want the golden buzzer, but when you get it, you've you got to remember, oh, <laughs> when that happened. Like, first of all, I was just... When the audience stood up, that was the first fit bit that really made me emotional because my whole career just flashed before my eyes, like an epiphany, and and I had I doubted myself so many times, and I said, this isn't for me, this is not for me. And my fiance Tiffany was like, the world needs to see your talent, do you know what I mean? And and thank God that she did that because it, it, it gave me what happened. She was, she's been your complete backbone throughout mm. all of this, has it? And as we saw your beautiful little boy, mm. Roman Kingsley, look at his little face and his <laughs> big smiles on Saturday night as well. I've got family and I grew up in foster care as well. So for me, I, I don't want that to be any excuse for him. Mm -hmm. And I want to give him the best foot forward. You know, he has two loving parents that see him every every day, whether it's on FaceTime now, because it's 2019, <laughs> if I'm on the road. But, um, but yeah, I think he's just giving me, like, the injection, the battery, yeah. you know, to keep going. He's and just eight do months for him. old, isn't he? Eight, eight months, months old. Oh, yes. so cute. But he sleeps like a grown man, though. <laughs> he's taking my side of the bed. I mean, the couch has been comfortable the last couple of weeks. <laughs> That's the way it goes, <laughs> isn't it? And what did Tiffany have to say afterwards? Tiffany was just really, like, emotional, I think, because she's from Birmingham. You know, we met we met while I was doing a show up there. Yeah, so it was comedy brought you together, actually, Yeah, yeah, it? yeah, yeah. And um, she came to me. She goes, I think you're really funny. And... Um, and that was it, really. I didn't hear the river because I thought she was just so beautiful. And, um, and yeah, and it's just been a journey. She, she's just really come into my life at a time when I really, I guess, needed somebody because I've been going through a lot of ups and downs and stuff and thinking about packing in comedy genuinely. And I spent a lot of my years just really encouraging other people to kind of come on stage and express themselves because comedy is so much therapy for the audience nowadays, especially with everything that's going on in the world. You know, you can't you can't underestimate how important laughter is. Oh, absolutely, more than ever, exactly. And Kevin Hart is a big fan yes. of yours, amongst many others. As we say, you've been doing this for a long time, yeah. so you've got this kind of collection of fans. Yeah, that are very supportive. Actually, he I has think, been. I think I think now, you know, you could have you could be so like not known, because there's a there's a world outside of television now. You know, especially with social media. So, Kevin came over years ago. To, um, visit in the UK and then he heard about a comedy club that I used to run called Kojo's Comedy Funhouse and he, 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 you know, he heard about it, he came through, performed and then we've been friends ever since. Yeah. And I think he's been someone that's been championing me for years. So what happens now, of course, you're through to the semi-final, yeah. which is fantastic. What happens next now? Are you already thinking about what you're going to do? Well, well, the production team at BGT are so amazing. They've, um, there's a lady called Beth who's working on everyone's production and a couple of ideas. Um, <clears throat> they, they ask me, all I can say is, and um, there's a nice introduction that we're working on for this one. It's, it's based around my favourite film. Um, and um, and I, I want to show consistency. So if you really enjoyed my first audition, which I was so very surprised got me the golden buzzer, then you're going to really like what I've got coming in the semi-final. But it's because you're making funniness out of things that we all talk about and things that we all moan about and things that we see every single day, like being in the queue in the bank and stuff like that. Like, we've all been I mean, in that moment, haven't we? let's talk about that for a moment. People that work in the bank, listen, they, those weren't jo <laughs> they weren't jokes, OK? They, they, people are going through real stuff. Absolutely. Let's, let's make the queue go quicker, please. Too right. Let's all be that bit happier at the end of the queue. You know, you know, <laughs> exactly. And, of course, Alicia was a familiar yeah. face. Yes. We, we saw her waving up, too. Did that help, just that sort of... Let me tell you something, ...knowing right? someone? L let me tell you something. Um, when, I, when, I, when I decided to do it, because I actually know Alicia's partner, that's how I actually know Alicia. I, I know her through her partner, because when we was coming up, he was a dancer, and we were doing a lot of talent shows together. So when they got together, I was like, wow, like, you're with Alicia Dixon, mate. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you come up in the world, AZ. Shout out to him. But, but basically, I, 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 I don't have a number to even say, oh, I'm going to be on the show. I literally just went on there, humbled myself. Honestly, this is an opportunity that, not that I want, that I needed, and to, to take my... my um, little fan base that I have to a whole nother level, to meet people like yourself, um, and to show the world like what, what, you know, where I've come from, really, and, yeah. and, and, and the culture that I come from.